Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft is intent on showing us what are system apps and system components over the so-called normal apps or other apps or other components in Windows 11. Now, as I posted yesterday, just to do a quick recap, in the Microsoft Store in your library, we can see now that system components and system apps are labeled as such compared to the other apps. And I'll leave a link to that video down below. And as I posted about a month ago, and also in the Windows 11 Insider program, the Start Menu System apps will also be much easier to spot because in the Start All Apps list, um, default apps and system apps like File Explorer, Get Help, Get Started, just to mention a couple of examples, have also got the, rev the relevant label system uh, next to it to differentiate it from a so-called um, other or normal app. Now, once again, it seems, as mentioned, that Microsoft really wants us to see these system components, which, by the way, I think is a nice move. I think, especially if you are a newbie or not so technically inclined, being able to spot system components will make it a lot easier for the so-called not-so-tech-savvy uh, users of the operating system. And now in build 25926, which was this week's latest Canary Channel build, which I posted on earlier today, and I'll leave that down below, it now includes, according to the Windows enthusiast uh, Phantom of Earth over on X, it now includes a new hidden system components settings page. So here we can see um, in that latest build as a hidden feature on the system page, here we get system components, which is a new feature. And if you click on system components, it takes you over to the system components page where you get all the so-called default or system apps listed, which I actually think, as mentioned, is a nice move. Now, hidden features, once again, just to do a quick recap, are code and features that Microsoft is possibly working on internally, and they haven't officially enabled yet in any particular build. And a lot of the hidden features, as I do mention on the channel, do become official features for testing. So this, at this stage, this system component settings page is a hidden feature. And due to the fact that, as I've mentioned, Microsoft is focusing a lot on showing users what are system apps and system components, I think there is a good chance that this will, uh, in the near future, become a actual official feature that they will test. And this is very similar to your installed apps. Um, when you head over to your apps page, um, the only difference is, yeah, you don't get other apps, you just get all your uh, system components and your system apps that are listed. And as mentioned, I think um, this is a handy option, especially for those who are not, not so tech savvy or computer literate, for want of a better word. So um, that's the latest now from build 2596, the latest hidden feature, which by the way, as many of you will know by now, um, can be enabled um, in that build using the third-party app Vav Tool. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.